Senator Rubio. <clears throat> Welcome, Mr. Tillerson. <laughs> Do you believe during the 2016 presidential campaign, Russian intelligence services uh, directed a campaign of active measures involving the hacking of emails and the dissemination of fake news with the goal of denigrating a presidential candidate and uh, also undermining faith in our election process. Senator, I have had no cl unclassified briefings because I have not received my clearance yet. Uh, Mr. Tillerson, you've engaged in significant <coughs> business activities in Russia, so I'm sure you're aware that very few things of a major proportion happen in that country without Vladimir Putin's permission. Is it possible for something like this to have happened without Vladimir Putin knowing about it and, uh, uh, and authorizing it? I think that's a fair assumption. The, 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 <laughs> would you advise the president-elect to repeal the Obama administration's recent executive orders uh, regarding cybersecurity and Russian interference in the 2016 <clears throat> elections? I think the president-elect has indicated, and if confirmed, I would support the uh, What's really required is a comprehensive assessment of our cyber threat and cyber security. Th that is uh, separate from the question of whether uh, people that have already conducted attacks should be sanctioned and singled out. Do you believe that executive order should be repealed by the incoming president? Well, if confirmed, Senator, I would want to examine it and all aspects of it. Okay. Now, let me ask you this question. Is Vladimir Putin a war criminal? I would not use that term. Well, let me describe the situation in Aleppo, and perhaps that will help you reach that conclusion. <laughs> in, in Aleppo, Mr. Putin has directed his military to conduct a devastating campaign. He's targeted schools, markets, and not just assisted the Syrians in doing it. His military has targeted schools and markets and other civilian infrastructure. It's resulted in the deaths of thousands of civilians. So, based on all this information and what's publicly in the record about Aleppo and the Russian military, you are still not prepared to say that Vladimir Putin and his military have violated the rules of war and have conducted war crimes in Aleppo? Well, those are very, very serious charges to make and I would want to have much more information before reaching a conclusion. I understand there is a body of record in the public domain. I'm sure there's a body of record in the classified domain. And I think in order to deal Mr. with Mr. a Tillerson, serious what's question happening like this, it's, it's in the public domain. I would want Videos be, and the pictures I, are I there. Want, I would want to be fully informed before advising the president. Well, there's so much of it. There, there's so much information out there. <laughs> it should not be hard to say that Vladimir Putin's military has conducted war crimes in Aleppo because it is never acceptable for a military to specifically target civilians. I find, I find, I find it discouraging, your inability to, to cite that, which I think is globally accepted. Um, I want to, in, in, um, in my last minute and a half here, move really quickly to an additional question. If I want to enter it in the record, Mr. Chairman, without objection. Without objection. A partial list of uh, political dissidents, journalists, and critics of Vladimir Putin who were suspiciously murdered or died under uh, a highly suspicious circumstances. Mr. Mr. Tillerson, do you believe that Vladimir Putin and his cronies are responsible for ordering the murder of countless dissidents, journalists, and political opponents? I do not have sufficient information to make that claim. Are you aware that people who oppose Vladimir Putin wind up dead all over the world, poisoned, <clears throat> shot in the back of the head? And uh, uh, do you think that that was coincidental, or do you think that it is quite possible, or likely, as I believe, that they were part of an effort to murder his political opponents? Well, people who speak up for freedom in regimes that are oppressive are often at threat, and these things happen to them. <laughs> in terms of assigning specific responsibilities, I would have to have more information. I look forward, if confirmed, to becoming fully informed. But I am not willing to make conclusions on what is only publicly available or had been publicly. None of this is classified, Mr. Tillerson. These people are dead. You're, 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 you're uh, <coughs> the, 
Just the political opponents are dead. Your question was about people who were directly responsible for that. I'm not disputing that these people are dead. Thank you. 